Hello, well welcome to the Cookham Research Excavation, the University of Reading Field School. We're approaching the end of the third week of a four week season and we've really produced and generated some amazing archaeology. So what I'm going to do is give you a quick overview of what we found this season, the key elements of what we found. So we're standing beside Trench 2, the small of our two trenches um, in the southern end of this area known as the paddock next to All Saints Church in Cookham. And we've got some really interesting archaeology appearing in this trench. We've got major Middle Saxon boundaries, one of which appears to enclose part of what we think might be one of the burial grounds that's contemporary with the Anglo-Saxon monastery, the 8th and 9th century monastery. We've got slightly later boundary ditches cutting through some of those burials, so they've got disturbed burials, but we're also starting to see in situ burial cuts. So in other words, we're beginning to piece together the physical organisation of the monastery, including what may have been one, there may have been more, one of its areas of burial. So that's a really important result for us. We're standing inside um, the largest of our two trenches that we have open this year and we're heading down towards the what would have been the early medieval river frontage which lies just beyond the trees um, to this side of me and we're really beginning to understand the magnitude of what we've got here. This trench is strewn with Middle Saxon archaeology. I'm standing on a, an 8th and 9th century gravel road surface that runs north-south through the site. Um, it runs into a more substantial roadway running parallel to the early medieval river frontage, which would have been one of the principal sort of routeways into the monastic settlement. It would have where un goods unloaded from the river, from boats, would have been taken on a regular basis. Flanking this north-south roadway we've got lots of structural archaeology we've got hearths we've got yards we've got floor surfaces we've got kilns ovens a really busy area so what we're looking at is all the infrastructure that went along with the monastery the places where um, foods were processed where materials were produced um, all the daily life perspectives that we're hoping to find from these excavations and the archaeology is incredibly dense. Um, it will take us several seasons to really unpick our way through this, but it really is exceptional archaeology for the period, and we really have hit the jackpot this season.